Alrighty. Good morning. I only broke a little bit on my way to starting the stream this morning. I tried to load into the Australian server and it did not work. It very did not work. I was hoping to get server with like four people on it but no luck no luck just could not load so just from the mine. Uh, prospector. Your ship is being driven to the following landing pad. So I'll start with a little bit of mining. <laughs> I will use Gettin' Ghost's Damar method of something or other to Bountiful Harvest. Yeah, the canyon's running along there. Provided some pretty good, pretty good resources. Morning, Fisher. Good morning. Your uh, service hole. Oh shoot! Is it? Um. Yeah. Might. I mean, it seems like that doesn't tend to last terribly long. 
How do you refresh it though? Huh? How do you refresh it though? By going back to the server, maybe? Or? Oh, um, maybe go back to the, um, I guess the yeah. ga game type selection menu. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I think I'll do one or two mining runs and then try and do some cargo if if cargo is functioning, if mining is fun functioning today, and if cargo is functioning today. Mining was fine yesterday when everything unloaded. It was fine in the evening. Um, excuse me. Um, actually, I I got on a European server, I think. And Segelian and I found that um, you couldn't make money. Like you could mine and sell, uh, you know, mater materials, and you could complete contracts and you could run cargo, but your wallet never, the value in your wallet never changed. And then we switched back to best server and all the money we should have made on the European server magically appeared in our wallets. So that was it's interesting. It's probably a network issue more than anything else. I would have to assume so, yeah. By the way, apparently Grecian is the best or um, I th well, at least according to Revere's data, Laranite is a little better, but Agrisium is is really good. He's got uh, Agrisium at about 831 UEC per percent, and then Laranite is 906. Gotcha. A little pissed off yesterday about Agrisium, a rock that was 100%. don't know if that was a bug or not, but I didn't know it was worthwhile. A hundred percent? Yeah. Holy shit, could you even mine that? I could have, but I didn't know what it was. I'm like, what the fuck's a Grecium? <laughs> but in chat, I'm like, hey, is a Grecium valuable? Nobody responded. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to move on to like an actual ore type I know. I'm like, going to go look for like diamond and gold. Yeah. Honestly, anything at a hundred percent would make you a lot of... I very would imagine. It's like the the worst is quartz, I think, at forty seven UEC per percent. But at a hundred percent quartz, that would still be f like forty seven hundred <laughs> credits from one mining run. So I'd be concerned that we wouldn't be able to. Uh, to build up any energy in those rocks. Yeah, I don't know. It seems fine. I was having no problem with any other rocks at the time. Gotcha. A hundred percent. Man. Yeah, I'm still around with the server here. Still. Bitty, yeah, bitty. Still full. I wonder if maybe I. Uh, I, I that's the thing, though. I like, is it actually. <laughs> oh, are, are you just getting in a different server? Yeah, I'm going to see if I can, because I don't know if, like, 
it's refreshing or not. So my plan is if I go into a server and end up not being yours, I'm just gonna exit out and see if that refreshes it because I don't know what does. Yeah, and it, it might be that things are particularly stable right now and, and people don't want to leave their servers. Maybe not enough people are... I don't know, I think you need to go find a 600i to go breach with like that. <laughs> Genius deposit? Oh, igneous. Oh, igneous. Not yeah. Igneous. Just disregard that. No one heard me say that. <laughs> Igneous deposits seem to have pretty good oh, I guess so. pretty good materials and percentages um, gosh but they're maybe a little harder to mine I'm coming oh you're on the server yeah I'm coming oh, no. I went in, I uh, came back, and yeah, it was 45 out of 50, so it just wasn't refreshing. Nice. Gonna go ahead and turn the game audio down before I start the mining laser up. Well, what did you put your, your mining throttle on? Um, like key binding wise? Yeah. It's, it's still mouse wheel. I don't have a a throttle I could bind it to. I kind of like it. My oldest throttle has a little slider on the left hand side. It's just a dial. Okay. Yeah, Segelian okay. bound it to um I guess he's got a, a spare throttle. And he bound it to that, um, and said it's yeah. it's much easier than the mouse wheel because if you need to drop it like down to nothing, you can do that really quickly and, and precisely. Gosh, I have to be so close to this rock, I can't hardly see my percentages. <laughs> uh, last night, getting ghost and I were jumping uh, to Wolf Point Shelter at Daymar, and then from there heading through the canyon toward Bountiful Harvest. And there were there were some pretty good rocks in there. I wonder if it's completely random. Honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm curious about that too. Um, Segelian said he tends to find more gold in canyons. Well, gold does pretty well. What's gold worth? Hmm? What's gold? Oh, what's gold worth? Ah, gold is 195 per percent. So that's not bad. Especially, like, I think you can find up to... Let's see, Segelian found like an 11% yesterday. So that worked out really well for him. Is there any way to, like, jettison the inerts? No. Oh. Nope. Shit. Um, once we get larger mining ships that have their own refineries, we can probably, um, like, refine the, mm -hmm. the good stuff and then just discard the, the inert materials. I would hope so. I but, still wonder how the hell they're going to manage crafting in this game. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, you can buy your ships and everything, you know? Mm 
Mm-hmm. So it's like, you can buy your guns. So it's like, okay, so you take that out, and where are we crap? I don't know if there will be crafting, or if we'll just be I sure <laughs> buying materials and, and you know, selling them, uh, running cargo and that sort of thing, and then the, the game internals technically handle all the, the quote-unquote crafting. Yeah, I don't know. I just... I don't think it's something I'd rather have crafting and have an actual economy. Did you see the, the video about the um, multi-tool? No. Uh, it was... I think it was yesterday. I can never... I think it was Calling All Devs. They talked about there's going to be like a little multi-tool with... that, that you can carry around. Um with different attachments for various purposes. So like repairing ships and that sort of thing. Gotcha. Maybe one one will be like a little tractor beam. So you can pull small objects, but like things that are slightly too large to to hold in your hand. Well it's like my My cutlass is supposed to have a tractor beam. Yeah, and the the 315 uh, was supposed to have one as well. Actually, it used to, but that was well before uh, the... Good morning, Getting Ghost. How are you? You got some sleep last night, I hope. myself with this rock. That was worth it. this 99 instability is really difficult to deal with. I think it does have to do with how much the, the rock energy level jumps around. Yep. I'm going to have to give up on that one. <laughs> I can't, can't make any reasonable progress. Uh, hey, there you are, I think. Uh, I can... I'm on the other side of the planet, so... Oh, okay. There's somebody else here, then. Yeah, I would assume they're not friendly. Well, they're sitting on the ground at Wolf Point Shelter, so... Oh, it's a, it's a Reliant. I'm not worried about a Reliant. Crusader. Oh yeah, I see your your waypoint there. Bountiful harvest. Four percent diamond. Uh, diamond is two eighteen per percent. 
Uh, should I? Um, you can you can probably find better than that. Um, it's quartzite rock. And Uh, corundum. Corundum. I think Segelian said that's actually ruby. Uh, that one is 82 percent, so that's not very good. Yeah, and I can't select targets. I can't target ships. The uh, bar in the mining mode. Um, it's supposed to work all the time, though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, I got nobody around me to try. <laughs> that can be a good thing. I do want to kill somebody with the mining laser, though. <laughs> Did you see that? Literally, you just. Swipe through them and they blow up. I I saw um, a group put like six or seven people standing on the ground in a row and just melted through them with a mining laser. Gotcha. So are you taking this information from that post revere hand? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and and I've run some of the numbers myself and come up with essentially the same thing. I trust Revere's data. He's he is good at that stuff. Ghost, do you feel like doing some mining with us this morning? the mood for something else, by all means, we can do that. Figured I would do some mining and then some cargo if if I have enough uh, money for it. money you're making in mining? <laughs> well, if you find a good rock, it's like 2,000 credits per, per run. But then... That's, that's what I've found is 5% tungsten so far. 5% tungsten. Yeah, I got it up. It's 126%. That's not bad by any stretch, but... No, I'm gonna see if I can find better though. But yeah. 5.14% toxin, <laughs> Tungsten Tungsten. Tungsten's 126. So that, that gives you, what, like 800-ish credits? Oh. Well, my 100% 
for issue there, goddammit. <laughs> And that wasn't the only rock I found. Bug or not, you jump on that that opportunity if it ever presents itself again. Should have, because there was like two or three rocks with that out there, and I was like, "What the fuck's a grizzly? I have no idea." <laughs> God, that was so stupid. Well, without the data, there's really no way you could have known. It's not like the those prices are posted in game. You'd think they would be, right? Like if someone wants to be a miner, you, they would. You think there would be like a browser with information, but maybe you want you to do that yourself, or they're just they haven't even thought of it yet or made a feature for it. It's on the backlog, maybe. Soon. Soon, TM. Five percent diamond, ten percent quartz. Let's see, diamond is actually pretty good. 218. Uh, yeah. quart, quartz is low, but that diamond will get you at least a thousand credits. Yeah, it's something I noticed yesterday is that the percentages you see when you're scanning a rock don't exactly match the percentages you get when you sell it. And it's not off by much. It's like 0.01 or 0.02%. <clears throat> but I'm still not sure why why they don't match. Like, if, if you mine one single rock, I would think they would be, the percentages would be identical. Maybe it's the name of realism. Lost their heat. That's a thought. You accidentally m melt some of the rock when you're mining it, maybe. What if that is a mechanic? What if overcharging the rock starts melting the the material? Could be. Makes the mini game even more fun. Yeah. Stakes just got higher. Gosh. Got 8.7% gold, 15.4% quartz. I'm gonna try it. The instability is 0.99. So this is gonna get tricky. Oh Chris, all the rocks are the same though? There's like not different portions of it. Like the fragments? Yeah. The same spot we was at last night. Yeah, that's where I am getting ghost. Yeah, the the fragments should be the same composition as the the original rock.
Now, if I wanted to try bust this fragment, I want to try something. Um, it, like, it seems like the, en the rock energy level changes if you move the beam around on it. So I wonder if landing before you start mining makes your beam more stable. Possibility. Is it hostile? What? I didn't catch what you said. It was possibility. Oh. I heard hostility. I was like, what? No, don't shoot at us. We're just simple miners. Trying to make a living on the rugged frontier. Simple minor crime stab. Hola Tragante. Como estas? I could turn the headlights down a little bit. They're really bright up close. Tragante. Gracias para, para visitarme. Thank you for stopping by. I hope your stream yesterday went well. the only kicker about uh, mining while you're landed is that you can't use your impulses to, to control the rock energy. I can't tell if mining while landed stabilizes your beam at all, but you can't use your impulses forward and backward to, like, trim your laser throttle or the, the rock energy level. Which is one of my favorite tricks.
Good. Oh, uh, what room text is here again? Right? Or no? Uh, sorry, say that again. Room hex is here, right? Or not? Where's no. Grimhex? Uh, Grimhex is yellow. No. Is there any places to sell this shit? I know. On Daywar itself? I'm not sure. I know Alasar and Levski. Um, but those are the only ones I'm certain of. Invite me to the party before you get started there. Good idea. Let's see. Uh, Fisher, do you have getting ghost on your contacts? I'm trying to add them. Let's see. I can't do it from game though. Is it telling you your contact list is full or something? No, oh, I just can't access it. Oh, you should uh, hit F11 and then write Alt. See if that works. Getting ghost. How do you spell your name now? Getting ghost without the S. G E T N G H O S T. I added you, so I didn't need to add me back. I'm not paying attention, and it is doing bad things to my rocks. Jay Fisher? Yeah. How do you spell Fisher? Is it with an S or a C? F I S C H. Good job. I wish we could send each other our contacts. That would make things a lot easier, wouldn't it? Yeah, how would we? How the hell do you even invite him? Either click on his name or right click on it, and it should pop up a little contacts menu. Yeah, it says remove contact. Still moving you. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Did you? You're not showing it up. Oh, you might have to leave game and come back in. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit then. I, I don't know. Unless I'm going back to pull all of sorry, I could just see you in person and invite you. Yeah. So right now I gotta pull pull the card though. I'm not gonna if you wanna make game. if you wanna make me party leader, I can invite him as well. Pass back to you. Um, if they just cut that here, yeah, yeah, I don't think there's really a head or two party leaders right now. No, except for quantum travel. I'm glad you found that video about how to do it properly. Yeah, one of our directors found it and sent it to the Discord. Gotcha.
Whoa, this uh, camera on the chain is beta, I got pushed back. What got pushed back? Camel on the chain. Oh. Uh, I haven't remembered Dark Age Gamelot at all. No, I don't. The game made by Mythic Entertainment is probably about 2002, 2003. Okay. Anyway, EA bought out their devs and essentially shut the, the group down. Ah. Uh. But uh, ultimately, they came back together again. And then decided to make it again. Nice. Oh yeah. Essentially, it's the same exact game, but updated and primarily based on PvP. Okay. Is there a Camelot TV series? No idea. It's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> Alright, now you gotta make sure no one ganks me as I'm coming into a whole start. Yeah, that's always a, <laughs> a tense moment. Oh, especially when I got that crime stat, yep. Yeah. Oh, right. I've still got a level 1 crime stat from parking illegally. <laughs> the silliest thing. Yeah, it should just be a fee. A fine. Well, I did kill two people, so... <laughs> oh, was that at, um... Yeah, when I freaked out? Yeah. That guy? Yeah, Kovalex yesterday. <laughs> Don't pull your gun out at me, man. I mean, he, he had his gun put away, and then he pulled it out at you. Yes. It's an act of aggression. Oh, I'm glad I got in here as soon as possible. Somebody's going to do a trade. Yeah, Alright, I am full. There's some of this rock left. It's 15.4% quartz, 8.7% gold, if either of you guys want it. Well, I'm no. busting a rock. It's 19% quartz and 7.84% gold. Oh, nice. <laughs> Where are you going to get my cobs? You're what? They got rid of, like, the cob menu for inside the ship. Oh, yeah, the pro the prospector doesn't have that by default. You can change one of the other menus to comms. No, it's not letting me. That's what oh. I'm doing. Oh, scroll up or down. I... Did. Oh. No? It's just not showing up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the hell's going on? Alpha. Oh, getting ghost. I can see your laser down there. <laughs> or your headlight. You see it now? Oh, it disappeared. I'm eating it at you. Oh. Well, that's... You'd think I'd be you able to see it to better. See it. I know. Can you see it on the ground now? Yeah, it, it shows up on the ground, just not... Not when you're pointing it at. That's crazy. That's... That's weird. I would expect the opposite. Yeah. They're still working on it. Look at that piece. Quickest miner ever, huh? <laughs> you you really are. I use my twist grip on my joystick to run the miner. Oh, ah. So I'm just goosing it and then letting off and then goosing it just trying to keep it right there. <laughs> Sometimes 
so much better. Hey, Shai, when you get back to ports, mm -hmm. just uh, keep crouching repeatedly. <laughs> what? What's going to happen? I know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. You got to entertain the viewers you have somehow. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, let me land my ship before I get myself in any trouble. Or glitch through the floor or something, more likely. Uh, I, I did say when you get back to Polisar. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to... Can only one person use uh, the kiosk at a time? Yes. yes. One. Just one. But I got two, so... Where's the other? On the other side. Oh, thank God. Oh, it's the dirty one, though. <laughs> it's the dirty one. I like to think they're they're both the same amount of dirty. One just has more sunlight on the screen. Yeah. All right. So I pulled out sixteen sixty-eight. That's not bad. I thought you said it was like two hundred eighteen for diamond percentage. Yeah, it is. Um. What was your diamond percentage? Five? Five point one six. Five. <clears throat> uh yeah, actually, yeah, I guess it is. Five point one six times two eighteen is eleven twenty four. Yeah, my change. <clears throat> my math just seemed a little off at first. Prospector. It's cool seeing reclaimers flying around, but I wish they had more use. More use, yeah. They're essentially a glorified cargo ship right now. They're not even very good cargo ships, are they? Like, they don't have all that much capacity. I don't think. Anyway, I think mine said it had like a storage capacity of like 18,000. Oh, well, some of that's so what it's 180, 180 SCU. Yeah, it's around something okay. like that. Okay, 180. It, I mean, it's it's a lot more than the Freelancer for sure, but the Starfarer is 291. Uh, every SCU is a thousand, so. On, Eighteen thousand, yeah, hundred and the the caterpillar is what five hundred something, I think. SCU. Yeah. I mean, that's not bad comparing. I mean, reclaimer. That's just for salvaging ships. So you really don't need that much, I would assume. Yeah, I guess a lot of the ship is, um, my, or salvage equipment, and like the living quarters and all that stuff. Yeah, but, like it could definitely rip up a, a cater, not a caterpillar, a constellation, whereas the vulture will, will have a hard time with the constellation probably. Not a hard time, just a long time. <laughs> Fair enough.
and see how trading would do. I think the market's still jacked up. Did we get a patch? No, we did not. So we probably won't get a patch till like Friday. If we don't get one today. Let's see. Waste is still selling for 0 0.09 at Olasar, which is what it's supposed to be. Um, so commodities might be okay. But Unless you sell it and don't get paid. That seemed to be something with the EU server. Because it, it fixed itself when we came over to a, a different one. But I'll keep mining for now. Sorry about that. I had a few babies. Yeah. I tried crouching a bunch. What? What was supposed it to happen? It didn't do anything. No. I well, it must be because you don't have armor. Oh, maybe. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Essentially, what I was gonna do is you keep on uh, doing that, and eventually you pass out. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Just due to like the physical exertion, or exertion rather. I had no idea they that like crouching and probably going prone too. I guess would count as physical exertion. That's really cool. Uh, in armor like that? Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, certainly with heavy armor and like a couple weapons on your back, that would make sense. Granted. I just wonder, like, that wouldn't actually be, like, much. Oh, of course, I would lose my butt and everything. But, like, in space, you think that wouldn't, like, exert you whatsoever. <laughs> well, I mean, seriously. Well, since we've got artificial gravity, it, it probably feels like it would on Earth. Some people need a good kick in the ass. Someone griefing at all this are? Yeah, they just fucking ran this my ship while I was trying to do a, a school. Yeah, people are assholes. People may also have run out of things to do. Griefing prevention cannot come fast enough. God damn it. Is he still doing it? No, my my quantum won't calibrate. Oh. And I'm pretty sure I got this jackass coming up on my six. You know, you I've flip seen around and you hit them with your mining laser and blow them up instantly. <laughs> I wonder if the extraction laser works on ships too. If you could start stealing their <laughs> armor.
It won't be Calgary. What the fuck's going on here? I usually find my quantum drive, power it off, and power it back on. It fixes that. That's what I did. I'm glad that method still works in the future. Let's see if I can jump to yellow. See your headlights down there getting ghost. Yeah, I'm serving as a light beacon. <laughs> For some reason, when I mouse over you guys, it'll like start the calibration process but it won't go. So I don't know if it's like bugged. But I'm going to yellow right now. Okay, maybe there is something wrong with your drive and Daymar. It's a possibility. Getting ghost, you didn't have to wait here this whole time. Yeah, because I want to come back to the same spot. <laughs> All right, well, Beacon has arrived. You may head back to Olasar. Do you need to come back to exactly the same spot, or can I move around a little? Oh, I know my spot. Okay. <laughs> Why is my thrusters overheating? Is that a new thing? I had that happening too, I'm not sure. I think it was when I was taking off from Levski or something. Well, I think you were just lower the power in your weapons, I guess. I kind of hope they allow you to have like a cargo ship in the area to transfer your ore to. Yeah, that would be really nice. Yeah, I think the cat's going to be the one for that because it's got that, uh... I imagine you might need like an MPUV. The I cargo. The cargo Argo. Well, the, the uh, uh, Caterpillar's got tractor beams. Yeah. yeah. But will you be able to do that? I'm sure that's what they intend. Uh, I don't make an assumption as to what they intend to do for. I mean, you got that big platform for just the tractor beam. Yeah, but it, what an MPUV is, it's essentially like a forklift of Star Citizen. Right. Yeah, I was hoping they'd find a use for that, but I was thinking maybe carrying, loading, uh, the, uh, what are they, uh, the whole E and D's and C's? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, like... Grab a hold of the big cargo containers? Yeah, that would make sense. That'd yeah, yeah that's true. That'd be a good thing for that thing. Oh, you know, it's so fucking pretty. This whole damn game is so pretty.
What does it mean when there's like a box around an area? Does that mean anything like specific since there's order everywhere? No. Not that I'm aware. Three seem two percent will get you about almost seventeen hundred. Yeah, so I'm looking at just underneath two thousand for this. I'm gonna do one more scan and see if there's anything better nearby. It seems like once you have one ore in the area, it's more of it. This rock is taking so long. I'm just sitting here staring at it with my face pressed up against it. Fisher, something interesting happened to Segelian yesterday. He said one of when one of his rocks shattered, it broke his uh, windshield off his prospector. No shit. <laughs> wow. No idea that could happen. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Is he able to exit the atmosphere? Probably. Well, I mean, his ship's on fire when you're leaving the atmosphere. <laughs> Good point. I blew one up and it left a permanent sunburst on my windshield. Oh man. Like a burnt spot? No, a bright spot. Oh. <laughs> I felt like I couldn't see shit. A portable light. To take with you wherever you go. rocks are rolling down the hill. Off this rock. Is it like super unstable? Ninety percent. 
90 percent oh yeah point nine. Oh yeah yeah point nine is not as bad as point nine nine but it's pretty rough So when you're using a, a joystick, um, you okay? No. The rock blew up. It's a two year. Yes. So, uh, I'm assuming the rock blowing up isn't a way that you can actually mine? I don't think so. Since I just got sick of it, and I literally just put it to 100% and I'm like fucking blow the shit up. And, uh, yeah. Apparently it was way too close. Ah. Did it? Blow your ship up completely? Oh, crap. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm dead. I just got back to the habitat. Damn. Mining bombs are no joke. Hidden Ghost, do you? Good to keep in mind, though. You did some offensive mining that one time, didn't you? Somebody came after you in like a gladius and blew up a rock on them. Yep. Knocked them twelve. It knocked them twelve kilometers in there. Sure. That's pretty impressive. I don't know if they're gonna kill me or not, but. Like, <laughs> I have to keep that in mind, even like if you're attacking bases or something. Hope there's a rock or two nearby. Or wait until some, some foot soldiers take cover behind it. Fragments is bugged. Are you in the same spot? Um, almost. I did not go far from where you were. Broke up a fragment and it teleported. Yeah, that makes it interesting though. <laughs> it's like a game of hide and seek.
this so I'll get my weapons. Still got your weapons? Still don't have my weapons. Oh, still don't have them. Like the ones that you purchased in game? So what were you running to Grimhex yesterday? <laughs> when uh, when I lost my ship. Yeah. Um, might have been titanium. I I don't remember. It's whatever. Whatever the commodities app told me to sell. I. I was a fool. Well, you bought it from Olasar, right? I bought it from a like some planet side outpost. Might have been Arc Corp or something. I'm just gonna get off for a little bit. I don't know if I'll be back on later or not. Okay, I think I'll maybe do one or two cargo runs. <clears throat> well, I'm sure you'll make like thousands of dollars on that. <laughs> uh, the profit may start out closer to like a thousand per per delivery. Um, yeah. But once there's a way to actually pay people in game I will pay you for your your various services I'll use that money for anything anyway all the screws on me <laughs> it's part of the joy of the alpha I guess when there's some permanence to what we do it'll be much more interesting but much more stressful, probably. All right, see you later. Take care, Fisher. See you later. Holy shit. I found a good rock here. <laughs> What's that one? 5% diamond, 20% quartz. Ooh. Not the one I was looking for, but I'm taking it. 20% <laughs> quartz is... A thousand. A thousand. That's not bad. And then 5% a thousand, so or over a thousand, so... So it's over two, it's my goal. If I can make two each trip. You know, I'm so glad that we have mining now and we don't have to do contracts if we lose all our money. <clears throat> the damn Cutlass Black kept killing me last night. It's just trying to fill it with cargo. scavenged from a shipwreck. Granted. Cargo nonetheless. Just wait till the pirates can steal our freaking cargo. <laughs> yeah. Then we will definitely need escorts. All the damn time.
thought things were good, and then the frame rate kind of tanked. Ninety six credits for eight point nine per cent diamond. Going all in on cargo again. Let's hope this works. How's your mining? They're getting ghost. 50% full. You are quick as heck. When you use a joystick for mining, um, what controls the where the laser is pointing? Joystick. Okay, does it like you move your ship around? Yeah. Okay. I guess with with mouse and keyboard because there's like the the dead zone where you don't move yeah, your I ship. Have zero dead stuff. Gotcha. I haven't tried, I don't know if you can turn that off for mouse, but I haven't tried that. I wonder if that would help. Or it might just be super annoying. Yeah, I mean, I just got a cheap HOTUS, man. You can probably find them real cheap, like 35 45 Yeah, Fisher re recommended the Thrustmaster T sixteen thousand. I've been looking at that one. Yeah, I mean, if you if want to try that one, I tried the uh, T Flight Hostess X. Mm -hmm. It's like made for a PC and a PS three. <laughs> PS three. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not great, but it's got the same hardware as a T sixteen does. And Okay. And I've had it for like three years. Two, three years. Still works all right? Yeah. 
It, it got dirty there for a while, but after I played with it, it cleaned it up, I guess. Okay, like the the joint got a little... Well, it just said I never didn't cover it up, and it got dust and shit in it. Oh, okay. So once, you know, I played with it a little bit, I guess it knocked the dust off of it. Sure. If he wasn't streaming, I'd tell a dirty joke right now, but... <laughs> Well, I save it for my streams. <laughs> I think it's you, me, and I see Segelian lurking there. Is Segelian lurking? Is he? His name came up on the viewer list, so he might be lurking. If you want to tell your dirty joke. No, I won't. I won't tell a dirty joke on a stream. <laughs> I did bad enough the other night. I wasn't even thinking about it. Oh, with Fisher? Yeah. About what I got in trouble for? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, dude. <laughs> that's... I mean, that's... I don't care. Yeah, but man, that's... I'd, I'd never thought to ask how you funded your... Uh... Oops, I jumped to the wrong... No, I didn't. How you funded your street racing... Fast and the Furious has wrote about me. <laughs> Since drugs wasn't a good plot, they had to make it where he beat up a guy with a wrench. <laughs> That's just so much more nonviolent, right? Exactly. I was young and dumb. Everybody goes through stupid phases. I'm, not everybody did what I did, but... I mean, hell, you got movies of motherfuckers uh, importing cocaine, and they're like heroes. <laughs> <laughs> True. That kind of idolization is not good. Yeah, I mean, like, blow is cool, but anything else is, and it's like, what? <laughs> No, it's it's a a, a a plot. It's just part of the plot. Well, I was in a poor county, and the county needed money. And the quickest way for them to make money is to teach everybody how to do that. <laughs> and that's really what they did. They put it in the front paper, on the front page. Oh my gosh. Well, hell, they said, tell me I can make ten thousand dollars in two hours. <laughs> What 18, 19 year old wouldn't do it that was poor and broke? <laughs> you know, I mean, you just think of the peer pressure. Yeah, especially because it's it's probably not as hard as it should be to get the ingredients. The local dollar store. Yeah. <clears throat> Since I was a chemist, it was easy. <laughs> I'm just wasting this rock. I'm, I'm already full, and I'm just mining away, dude. <laughs> mining away. Gosh, this your your life almost sounds like the the plot of Breaking Bad. It was. That's rough. No one should have to resort to that shit. <clears throat> I'm just gonna bust this rock up waiting on you to get here. Oh, I'm I'm not mining anymore, sorry. Oh, that's right. I forgot that quick. <laughs> I sympathize. You know what really sucked? What's that? 
when you got it on a twist thing and you forget which way to twist it. <laughs> it's like the turn signals in the car, right? Yeah. Well, no, I, I drive a forklift, so like. Ah. I try to go forward, and I'm over switching my turn signal like I'm on a forklift still. <laughs> A gladius down here. I hope they're not hostile. I just did it again. <laughs> Did you blow up the rock? Yeah. Blew up a piece. It was like, when it stopped, it was like at 96. I'm, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> well, was it my finest hour? <laughs> Well, as Miley Cyrus once said, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. You live and you learn. Fingers crossed this Gladius guy is friendly, or AFK, or... Just ram him. <laughs> well, there's no landing pad here, so I'm not super concerned about... about any of that. Just land right on top of him. He's laying. <laughs> He's laying on the ground next to his ship. <laughs> I don't I think. He's dead. It looks more like an emote, but I don't know if I don't. I'm not familiar with one that makes you like relax on the ground. Just go over and lay on top of him. <laughs> I don't really want to make a new friend that badly. <laughs> Lay on top of them, go backwards and forwards. <laughs> <laughs> he might kill you then. Can't show that on stream either. I wonder if that's permittable on stream. <laughs> it's it's probably up there with teabagging. I don't know the protocol on that either. Okay. Jesus, my freaking twelve year old was bad about that. <laughs> He's real, real good at FPS games. Hmm. He's only in the fourth grade. I wouldn't want to fight him in Fortnite. <laughs> and my daughter's even better than him. She's mouse and keyboard. He's Xbox, so there's a big okay. difference there. Yeah. <laughs> She's also in 8th grade, so she's a little bit older. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I had all of them playing when they were in diapers. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah. Bottom PS. Let's see. What did I buy them for? A GameCube first. Ah, uh, that's a good one. Got them into Mario Kart. First. Now they're Fortnite pros. Oh, my daughter, she don't really like Fortnite. Hmm. But my son, he's real good at Fortnite. Even just with controller. You don't want to play against them in Call of Duty and shit. <laughs> like, by the time they turn 18, they'll be pros. That would be pretty impressive. Well, I mean, my, my fourth grader star football team, like, he's got the the middle school drooling. Like, he's he was in the fourth grade playing at an eighth grade level. Dang. Yeah. Like, the, the big kids don't want him tackling him. <laughs> like, he hits, he don't have no fear. None. He's a sturdy fella. Well, he was little. And my oldest boy is like four years older than him. He he will he will rock his world. Like literally, he'll beat the snot out of that fourteen year old. <laughs> I gotta go save him. It's oh, not man. even funny. I mean, he's just good. Like, see. Uh, my oldest one was in like the fourth grade and got in a fight with a seven year old and twelve year old at the same time. <laughs> this little guy, five years old, whips, whips both of them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Comes in with big old black eye. Yeah, they were picking on my brother, so I whipped their ass. <laughs> and he's not big, but he's like a little spider monkey. <laughs> I taught I taught him how to grapple, right? Yeah. Cause I'm into jujitsu and grappling. Shit. <laughs> he grabs a hold of me and throws me around. Sometimes he catches me off guard. Funny as shit, though. I'm glad he can take care of himself. Yeah, well, I try to warn him. I like, son, sometimes people don't prepare. They'll pull out a weapon. <laughs> I ain't scared, Dad. <laughs> like, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> I keep telling him, I said, oh, you're bad boys. I said, or in de dead. I said, because of that. I said, you just can't go around beating people up. It ain't right. I said, but you always take up for yourself. It's fucking Gladius shooting at me. And I can't get out of atmosphere either. I do gotta say the Prospector is one of my favorite ships. Yeah. It's just fun. I kind of wish it was more like the uh, Vulture. Like the way it looked? Well, like the cargo on the back. 
Okay. Yeah. It's for the bags on the side. Well, I guess the since the prospector doesn't have its own refinery, it has to. Couldn't really just be a dump truck. Or just toss everything in the bag. It needs some kind of storage I mean, containers. Can still put it in the bag. Just give it some actual cargo space. We'll just make it easier for a. Uh... Basically, it's going to go around shitting like a rabbit. <laughs> dropping its little duty bags everywhere. <laughs> you know? At, at the rate you mine, yes. That's, that's how it'll work. Then you're just going to go behind it and clean it up. Like a dog owner at a dog park. <laughs> I just think they could have made it more elegant without the duty bags. Well, MISC is not really about elegance, are they? About getting shit done. I don't know. I don't know. They like elegance. Some That's of their ships. Think of an uglier ship. Like the, most of them are like streamlined, ain't they? Yeah, they. <laughs> this is probably where the inspiration came from, but they look like the the windstream trailers, you know? Yeah. The big round, bulbous, silver campers and stuff. I wonder if that's what they were going for. But it would just look so much nicer if it just had a little cargo with the back and a nice streamlined, no duty bags on the side of it. <laughs> you mentioned um, you thought that area in the very back was for like extra bags. I wonder when I we're. I don't know what it would be for. I mean, like, because you're not going to be able to manually change the bags, right? Right. You'll so need I'm thinking, something. So uh, I'm thinking it's going to be some type of robotic thing. I wonder if you could, like, drop the bags on the ground and then fly your ship over them so that, like, the, the space on the side where they fill... Um, is directly over the bag and then like pick it up that way or something. I don't, I don't know. know. It might be like a little tow thing so you can tow your bags. That'd be cool. Like put a little trailer on the back or something. Yeah. I mean, that would work. I mean, that would look decent, but still looks like a little duty bag. <laughs> yeah. And they're, according to the the brochure, they're supposed to, like, start collapsed and then fill up as you get more cargo in them, more material in them, which would be really cool to see. Yeah. Takes so long to get out of atmosphere in a caterpillar. Yup. Wait till we got real atmosphere and real gravity and weight. Yeah, I. I started at like 15% angle or something and couldn't keep up speed, so I had to go to like 8 or 10%. Or eight or ten degrees, and ride that out until I got up to 
don't know, 5,000 altitude or something. Gosh, I just need to quantum spline jump around the, the moon. I this poor thing is so heavy. Figure out where I was now. Daylight. Oh yeah. So you basically sat there mining all night. Yep. Made about forty five hundred so far. That's pretty good. It's been what, like about an hour and a half or so. Has it been that long? Maybe. Um, you did spend some time waiting for Fisher and I to get back so that we didn't lose the spot. I guess if you find good rocks and you're, you're good at mining, you could make what, like 5,000 credits an hour. Be pretty good. I wish we could have waypoints selected without bringing up the, the quantum travel UI. Yeah. Like even when you point at them? Wait, wait, wait for it to spool and wait for it to calibrate, then click tab and then click tab again. <gasps> that is amazing. Yep. Getting ghost, you are a, an expert. I'm an expert. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me that. You know, I'm going to put it on my re-entry so I can see where I was going. Mm -hmm. I should have paid more attention. We really need to be able to set a waypoint. Like Yeah, like a marker or something so you can go back and forth. Yeah, even if we just have one. And like that that wouldn't need to be server side, that could be client side. I guess if either that or GPS on moons and stuff would help. Mm-hmm. Well Revere's talking about making a surface map, right? Maybe we'll Maybe that will include better methods of finding our way around. But still, without GPS, there's no way to... <laughs> not, without, not without doing like you did, and say just start somewhere and then um, aim at something else or see what, what distance you are away from several OMs. I don't know if the OMs move, though. I th think... Well, good question. I had assumed they were stationary around the planet, but maybe not. Well, if the planet's moving, and if they don't move with the planet... I guess in... Well, I don't know. You'd, you'd just have to, like... I guess find one and... and see how far it away it is from something on the planet and then come back in an hour and check again. Wouldn't be hard to do, just kind of 
tedious. Ah, great. There's somebody here, too. Avenger Titan. Well, he's a cargo guy. Yeah, I'll assume he's doing cargo, and he's not doesn't have a high enough crime stat to be orange, so I will assume he is docile. Probably parking tickets. It doesn't look like he's on the pad either. Oh, there's also an Origin 600 here. Also not on the pad. Maybe they're just having a party. Oh, no, he is on the pad. Well, we're just gonna... Just gonna fit down there beside him somehow. Wouldn't ever land my caterpillar on freaking uh, landing pad. Should I just land off to the side? Yeah, because sometimes when you land on a landing pad, it'll pull your ship in. Gotcha. I'd heard when about that. Wants, when, when someone else comes up to land. Well, there's no ATC at uh, outposts anymore. So I'm hoping... I don't know that it actually did anything before, but I'm hoping it... Do that now. Dude left his Avenger right in the middle of the big pad. What a jerk. What a jerk. That's when your, your escort blows his ass up. <laughs> Actually, this is an armistice zone, so I'm not sure if that would even... It don't matter, you lock on him and you back all the way up out of it and you shoot his ass. <laughs> it was, I think it was one of the PTU patches where shots wouldn't register inside armistice zones. Well, that'd be a good thing. That would be a good thing. So like, you wouldn't, but you wouldn't be able to back out of it and then shoot somebody no, who's... No, then you just land on his ass. And <laughs> just shovel him out of the way. He pushed his little ship right out of the way. Hopefully he left his shield on or it's going to blow up. <laughs> I mean, you don't need to land a little ship on a landing pad. No, I'm, I'm hoping it'll let me sell. Yeah, just as long as you're there. Just have to be close enough? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you just got to be close enough. If you're in the armistice zone, it's going to let you sell. 3-8. Probably got like a 10 kilometer. Now don't quote me on that. But <laughs> I'm saying if Quantum Link works at 10 kilometers. Yeah. Keeps keeps trying to get me to take stuff to Grim Hex. Like no. 
have a caterpillar. I can't, can't do that. I tungsten. Oops. Well, you could do it. Well, yesterday it took my ship um, at Grim Hex, and then I it wouldn't let me sell anything from it. So I'm not gonna. Oh, really? You yeah. Can't do it. Um, I'm not not gonna try that again. I don't want to lose all my credits again. Yeah. Tungsten to Levski, it is. Only fills 43 SCU of the 566 that the Caterpillar has. Alright, nobody's come from my ship. Appear to be hiding in the rocks. I haven't spent any money on weapons or armor, I have. so I can't can't very well defend myself. First thing I did. The automatic doors are working again. Excellent. Sense the presence of their master. CPU lag's killing me. You still mining? Yep, I just blew another rock. Ah. Dude, I wonder if you can... I wonder if the atmosphere is not as turbulent during the day and at night compared to sunrise and sunset. Because I'm having a much easier time leaving Artcore um, than Bountiful Harvest. Same planet or same moon? Yep, both Daymar. Oh, there is so much about this game I do not understand. But cargo makes sense. Cargo is comfy. Cargo is nice. Cargo is, makes money and you don't get head lice. Or sand fleas. <laughs> On Daymar, you might get sand fleas. There's a lot of sand there. Yes, there is. And I just love it when my rocks teleport somewhere else. <laughs> First, you have to earn your your mining money by finding a good rock. Then you have to earn your mining money by properly fracturing the rock. Then you have to earn your mining money by finding the fragments of the rock after they teleport. No. Yep. 
as Segelian said, skill-based gameplay. Did he say that in chat, or...? Oh, no, that was the other day. Oh. I'm like, I don't see him. <laughs> no, he's... I guess he's working he... right now. Yeah, he works in the morning, doesn't he? Now he does. He's probably just listening to us, laughing. <laughs> Uh, I don't see his name. Maybe he's... I think better Twitch will let you be anonymous, but... I feel like we would be distracted, maybe. Finally got out of range of those guys at Arc Court. Trying not to burn up all my fuel. <laughs> no, I've seen a few gold suits since 3-2 went live. They're, uh, they are kind of, kind of scary looking. Can't wait till I get mine. <laughs> we got to have over a thousand in the game. I thought somebody said 5,000, but I'm not sure. Oh, no way is it 5,000. Surely not. <laughs> see. I don't know where those those perks are listed. Do you know where those those perks are listed on their website. What? Uh, like, if you spend this much money, you get these things in game. Lord, no. I don't know where none of that crap is. That's why I got Segelian. <laughs> and Revere. Our resident high roller. Maybe not. He's got his lovely 600 eye. There's Levski. If this puts me in an asteroid, I'm going to be so pissed. Oh god. Evasive maneuvers. Oh Jesus. Yeah, I know, right? Man, that is kind of ridiculous. Got to get around the asteroid. You know, if the if the asteroid clumps are stationary over um, Delamar, it'd be pretty easy to find one that gives you a safe jump every time. I want to test that in the caterpillar. There's Lipsky. Oh, one lagged out on me. Oh, one of your rocks. Yep. I guess it said I was too far away. Is that why? 
it happens? I kind of think so because like the rock disappeared for a second. Hmm. And I scooted back up and it reappeared, so I think it kind of lagged it. Or bugged it out, glitched it, whatever they want to call it. Just zoomed past me in a cutlass. Just kind of cramping it. Just remember, if they shoot at you, don't run. Run them over. <laughs> this thing is not terribly maneuverable. I'm sure it's got good guns on it, but I don't know that I could hit somebody to save my life. Yeah, just go full reverse with your thrusters and your afterburn. <laughs> Get him to tail me and then smack him with my ass. Well, no, because if you get, they get behind you, you're screwed. So if you're going <laughs> full reverse under thrusters and under afterburner, you'll I will get up to like 300. Okay. And okay. then let them wait till they get in front of you and then blast them. They'll think, oh, he's helpless. And what he don't know is, like, you got, like, level five guns on that thing. I'm not sure I haven't changed them out, but I'm sure they're large. Yeah, they're large. What does the Reclaimer have on it? Uh, it's got tarantulas on it, I believe. Okay. But they're on gimbals, so... Like one size down from whatever... So I think it can hold level fours. You'd probably be stupid to put fixed shit on it. Yeah. <laughs> I think when Segelian was, I think it was the Reclaimer. I don't know if he was in a remote turret or what, but he had like he had control of three turrets or something at once. Maybe that's from the pilot seat. It was scary to see like that many guns <laughs> size four or whatever all firing at the same time One thing I am happy about is that even though the, the caterpillar doesn't fit at Grim Hex, they tell you that when you when you request landing. So you don't just they they don't give you a landing pad and then steal your ship. Well that may have been in three point one as well. Another two grand. Oh, nice. You're raking it in there. I'm flying the reclaimer around trying to do cargo fuck. <laughs> Especially when it takes you five minutes to leave atmosphere. Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, you're sitting duck. You know, I guess it it might have an easier time taking off in atmosphere than a fully loaded cat um, because the cargo is much it. much less of its actual. Oh God! But you gotta have landing gear down all the way out of atmosphere. Oh right. It's like thirty-five meters per second. Oh God! The turbulence is real. Wait till they really put it in there. 
gonna be so fun. We're gonna find out who's the real pilots. <laughs> I may have done some damage to my ship. Man, I bounced a cat around so hard one time. <laughs> like it took me five minutes to get control of it. I'm not even playing. It bounced around and done. I did that to a prospector too. Come in the atmosphere too hot. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm pointed straight up, full afterburner, full booster, for like 2,000 meters tall, <laughs> straight, and land right on the engines, right? Oh my well, gosh. Well, then the engines oh. don't work right until you power them down and power them back off. Well, the whole time I'm fighting it, going, what the hell? And you know, so, I think what that is is that the ship is it like has an orientation that it it thinks you want. And when it gets forced out of that orientation, it tries to get back into it. And so that overrides your like, controls. It's like the cargo's moving around inside. <laughs> it feels like to me. It feels like if you've ever drove a dump truck. I have know, not, you actually. go around a corner, like, it tries to tip over. If you go too fast and that weight shift, you're screwed. <laughs> it will kill you. You're not going to live if you run one of them off the road. Because the weight of that... that Whatever you got in the back of it's gonna come straight through that cab. Oh my gosh, they took my landing pad. Bet they're gonna give me a crime stat. Ugh. All of a sudden, there was like, and like the landing pads at Livski are caves. There shouldn't be any, any chirp no drafts in there, but all of a sudden, like, the ship was just, like, boosting sideways. Ah, no crime stat. Good. Once I get straightened up, you know, to where it's landing. Mm -hmm. I get down as fast as possible, and I cut my engines off, and I'm about 10 meters off the ground <laughs> through the landing gear. I may just start doing the auto land. Well, stuff. that's probably even worse. Auto land and the cat would be the wisest thing. It might <laughs> send you straight to the wall. Oops. Uh, aluminum to Port Alasar. Is that really the best? Huh. According to this, iodine is breaking even right now at Levski and Olisar. Aluminum it is. Told you it was all screwed up. Hangar 2. I'll be so glad when we got 12 bags to fill. Like when you've got spares? Yep. That's when the prospectors want to make money. Mm-hmm. 
Everybody's like, oh, prospector can't make no money. It's like, well, times what you, you know, 6,000 a run. I guess what what you'll have to, or what they'll have to do is let you make a, a beacon for someone to transport your ore back to Olasar and sell it. Or yeah, something like that. I don't know what they're going to do. <coughs> they're like, not going to be able to do it until they make a tractor beam. So that'll be after salvaging. Okay. Oh, right, because you got to pick up the bags and put them on another ship. And then the cargo should be able to be sold. So the cargo ain't bound to a ship. Right. There's another two grand. Nice. So let's see, I was at five. So I've done made almost 7,000. Pretty dang good. I'm making about two grand every 30 minutes. Oh, please tell me I can take off from Levski. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, God. Why is there so much turbulence in the hangar? Holy shit. Oh god. I got a mow today and it's so freaking hot. How much land do you have? About two acres. That's not too bad. No, except the backyard used to be a cow pasture for ah. about 200 years. So, and it was dairy cows. Like, their shit is so freaking fertile. <laughs> <clears throat> There's just tons of grass everywhere. Well, it's just not regular grass. It's like Bermuda grass. Like, it used to be hay. Okay. It'll tear a lawnmower up. Ah. In the backyard, the backyard wasn't mowed like a regular yard. A part of it was. You could tell. But a part of it was part of a larger field. Okay. Like, the next door neighbor's barn used to be the... All the land on this street used to belong to this house. Wow. So it was like over a thousand acres, and he was a cow farmer. Holy cow, that's a lot of land. And like, it's the oldest barn in this county. Nice. This house was built in 1900. Dang. 118 years old. Yeah. Well, they remodeled it in the 60s. And I'm fixing to remodel it again, so. Has it had the frame redone, or is that still the original? The, say that again? Has the frame been... Repaired? Well, just... it was built out of rough cut lumber. Two by sixes for the walls, two by twelves in the floors, and two by eights in the ceiling. And then, oh. after that, the guy come back through in the 60s and put Bedford stone, four inch stone, all the way around it. <laughs> so my walls are ten inches thick. Jeez. My interior walls. My interior walls are over six inches thick. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like my my dad come and seen this house and like he was like, You got something here. He said, This house gonna be here after we're both dead and gone. Sounds like that house could survive a tornado. Well, it's been here since nineteen hundred, so it probably has. Well it <laughs> Honestly, the, the, how would you say it, the, the elevation change here, where we're at, like, we're on a great big hill, like, the highest hill in the county. Okay. And, like, most of the storms either go 
to the west or to the south or to the north north it's just crazy like Sweet. you'll see a badass storm and you just know shit's gonna be broke <laughs> and then it right before it gets to us it like splits every time <laughs> nice like i had a tornado go right by us no wonder the the house has been there so long it's it's in a good location but it's got more lightning rods on it than I've ever seen. <laughs> Looks like a porcupine. Yeah, yeah. Like, when well, you go up there on the roof, like, you gotta be careful. <laughs> you slip and fall on one of them damn things, you're a shish kebab. Them things are sharp. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted my old lady to have a castle. This is the closest thing I could do. You have a castle? Well, it kind of looks like a castle. Cool. It's round or nothing, but it's got the big stone. I mean, big stone. Okay. I just need to dig a moat around it and put a drawbridge on it. <laughs> that would be that would be cool. I'd like to convert it to make it look like a castle. It'd be cool as hell. There used to be one a few miles from from where I grew up. Well, not not like a real like a medieval oh, castle. We had a we had a millionaire build one not too far from here about a an hour away for his wife. His wife wanted a castle, so he built her a castle. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, well, if I was a millionaire, I'd build a castle, too. Just for shits and giggles. Because I could. <laughs> I'd also have an elevator for my cars. Not because I need it, because I can. That's oh, the spirit. I don't trust. I might. I might want one. Of, what did the Batman have? Like a little cave thing? Yeah. You yeah, have I to drive like through a, a waterfall to get inside. Yeah, that'd be better. Like a man-made waterfall. You could have it so that your garage door opener parts the waters for you. Or just turns the water off, turns the pumps off, have pumps running on solar power. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you got that much money, why not? <laughs> I mean, could you imagine your kids? You know, where do you live? I live in that castle. <laughs> uh, they don't need that kind of... That kind of comfort. Well, it wouldn't be the comfort part, it'd be the security part. <laughs> having a, a moat with alligators <laughs> a moat with alligators somebody has wedged their reclaimer into the part of Port Olisar it's a very strange thing to do we got Chuck Support over here mining that's his name, Chuck Support Chuck Support? Chuck Support Sounds like a guy who helps out woodchucks. Maybe his best friend Chuck. Could be. But if he created a, a Star Citizen account purely to support his friend named Chuck, he is a very dedicated person. Or Chuck's wife? Could be. Girlfriend? Boyfriend? Whatever. <laughs> I do not discriminate. Sell aluminum. Uh... 
Egg supplies to bountiful harvest. I may have to steer clear a Levski if I'm if I have that much trouble in the hangars there. Uh, most people did. Starfare did not. It was solid as a rock. But maybe that's why I didn't have problems because it's so heavy. The problems oh, were coming no, into the atmosphere. Was heavy and it ran like shit out there. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm just thinking like in the in the landing bays is where I ran into all the turbulence <laughs> with the caterpillar anyway. Maybe the maybe the starfarer doesn't have that issue. But then the the reclaimer doesn't even fit. I was just talking about on the surface. Yeah. It was just nasty. <clears throat> was there a lot of turbulence on the surface? Yeah. And this is on planets with hardly any atmosphere. I can't imagine, <laughs> like when we get Hurston, and it has water and biomes and weather, <laughs> how tough it's going to be to land some of the the ships on small pads. Our bountiful harvest. Oh, come on, caterpillar. There you go. Good. Are you back on Daymar? And then I just had another rock spawn right on top of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm on Daymar. Well, what if what if you could blow up one of them? Oh, oh hold, hold up. Listen oh. to this shit. The rock that just spawned on top of it is the same rock I just busted. <laughs> It's hold. It's now. Well, if it's a good rock. Ten, almost ten and a half gold. That's a good rock. I, I really want to see Fisher's 100% Agrecium rock. That would have been the most insane. That would have been a hell of a payout. Payout, if, if you could even mine it. Yeah, that would have been a, probably a pain in the ass. Need like ten people, <laughs> which admittedly would look very cool. Bountiful harvest. There we go. Uh oh. The ships keep shaking like crazy after I come out of a spline jump. Oh my gosh. Oh, Chuck supports leaving atmosphere. Must be full. Yep.
the Drake Cutlass out here. It's getting farther away. You're a pirate. <laughs> I hope not. That Gladius is still down at Bountiful Harvest. Uh, they're probably streaming somewhere. What would they be doing for that long? The cutlass is coming here as well, hopefully not to shoot me. Nope, also coming to do cargo, I guess. I'm gonna let him get inside before I get out of my ship. See his little flashlight moving around down there. He's just dancing on top of the <coughs> little hydroponics things outside. I guess he's the same guy who was here in his gladius earlier. He's spending a long time here. All right, sell ag supplies. They're not selling for as much. On the road again. <laughs>
I did that one in about 20 minutes. About 2,000 for 20 minutes? Yeah. Stims to Arc Corp 141 on the same page. One credit left over. <laughs> Doesn't appear as though <coughs> anyone has pulled out a weapon on me, so that's always pleasant. Cutlass one went ahead and left. One of my old uh, clan members is trying to get me to play Destiny too. <laughs> it's like, no, Star Citizen done spoiled me. <coughs> I'm a lower graphic game now. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy Destiny a lot, but it's Destiny two has gotten kind of boring for me. It's telling that <coughs> running cargo in Star Citizen is more enjoyable than all of Destiny. I've always been into space sims. Freelancer, Eve, Elite Dangerous, now Star Citizen. I guess you'd call Halo that too. Halo 2 was kind of space. It wasn't a sim, but... Yeah, I, I love the, the Halo series while Bungie was making it. Yeah. God, I can't take off. What was it? It was Gearbox and Bungie made the first one. Halo Evolved for PC. That was... I've played that one for years. Mm -hmm. I found my disc the other day. <laughs> I still have mine. I gave it to my son. I was like, here, play this game. He was like, Dad, the graphics suck on this. I went in there and looked. I was like, playing at 480. He's like, that's... <laughs> no HD. Nope. It looked like shit. And I was like, well, son, our... our our shit wasn't that good back then. Oh my god, I cannot take off. No, I think it was like 800 by 600 was the highest resolution. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was a long time ago, man. I have wedged myself firmly <laughs> into this outpost. Side to side. I'm going to do something even stupider. Try retracting landing gear. They need more lights on that damn thing. I mean, God. all industrial equipment's got a lot of lights on it. You're right. And it just disappoints me when you got something like that, and a starfarer, and a reclaimer, and you can't see shit when you're landing on the ground. Okay, I'm going to have to try <laughs> logging out in my bed. If the ladder doesn't kill me. Well, hopefully not. Oh, and I'm going to get out of the wrong side of the bed, aren't I? As long as it didn't kill you. Last time I got stuck. No, that was that was the elevator. The elevator got me stuck in uh, 
between two of the walls. I think I'm going to call it a day for now, at least. Yeah, I probably am, too, once I get back. I don't know. I'll probably mine all that and then log out. Yeah. Uh, unless, unless the rock respawns again in front of my eyes. <laughs> that was cool. It was like I had two little nuggets there, and I was fixing to start, and all of a sudden it turned into one big one. I was like, hell yeah, I'm back to 3,000 yeah. kilograms. Good stuff. Ah, here we go. I'm going to take us on a raid to the Polysapien again. I might have found the magic rock. <laughs> we got a bad boy here. Well, folks who are here in chat, thank you for hanging out this morning. Watch Alasar if you're coming this way. Ah, I'm logged out. We'll go over to the Polysapien. He's a fun streamer. Yes, he is. He does fun Star Citizen stuff, so... Y'all have a good one. And he's as bad as me. It's about talking to himself. <laughs> Which makes it even more fun. <laughs> Poor guy is stuck. He's stuck too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God! That <laughs> poor guy. No, that's what just happened to you.